Today we're learning about holding two strands of color in a classic houndstooth pattern, working it in the round. So this video is concentrating using a uh, loom that's worked all the way in the round for a bunch of different hats. This is a, one of my sizes. You can do multiple sizes in it. We're gonna show you how to do it completely in the round, continuously holding the strands so that you have very short floats in the back and not these very long floats because it will span over uh, from one color and jump um, four st three stitches over to that fourth stitch for the color to show back up again. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. If you would like the four row repeat and a flat panel working back and forth, uh, you can see the video description for that. And also the classic houndstooth Fair Isle hat pattern is also down in the video description link below. So let's begin on your Fair Isle houndstooth in the round. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. To get set up, make sure that you have a multiple of four stitches and you're working in the round. Now on this loom, it's really easy because I was able to put two links of the same color together and then do two links of the opposite color. And so it makes it really easy to see because it coordinates really well with my um, chart that you'll see, which is four stitches wide and four rows high. You can even draw up your own little grid um, with um, four squares wide and four squares high, which is 16 squares, and you can color in the right color so you know which is contrast A and which is contrast B. So um, the chart looks more like it. This is the black and white and the white is just like this cream color here. It comes first and then you have uh, the color B which looks like black on the chart which lines up with this gray here. It's opposite on my sample over here but just know I am following the chart and I'm using what I'm calling my main color color A and my secondary color is color B in here. I'm starting in after I've done the um, done eight rounds, we're repeating the, the round one through four for the, the houndstooth and then one through four again for another houndstooth. So we're starting here. But when you put in your first color, you'll begin right after you've done a couple rounds of your main color and then just leave a nice long tail that can be woven in later. Okay, so um, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and knit this first stitch. I'm gonna do a little technique, which I'll explain here in a minute but I'm gonna trap a color in. Don't worry about it, I'll explain better in a minute. So um, you can see where my stitch marker is. I'm gonna take color A and knit the first peg. And I'm gonna bring this little B and trap it back here. Again, I'll tell you about that later. So we're gonna go ahead and knit A on the first peg. Now we want to knit B on the second peg, okay? So when you knit it here, this other end here will be long and that will be the very first time you begin yours. After that, it'll just continue going in the round. Now we want to take A and knit the third peg, okay? Go ahead and knit that. We're just you wrap knitting these. All right, here's where the magic comes in. We want to trap in this strand here, which is B, because it's gonna have to go all the way over to the second peg in our next series of four. But we don't want a really long strand, so the way we trap it in is we're just gonna grab B and note that it's coming underneath um, A here. So we're gonna put B forward, okay? Just on the front side of the loom. And then we're gonna uh, to yarn over and act like we're gonna knit, well, we are gonna knit, we're gonna knit um, a on the fourth peg and then go ahead and bring B to the back. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of lightly hold it in the back and knit. And when I do that, this B is kind of pushing back on this strand of A back here and it, it's not super tight. If it's too tight, then your extra little yarn a color is going to peek through. Notice I don't have um, the white peeking through very much, unless I'm just really pulling on it, and then you can see it kind of hiding between here. But it's just gonna hide, and then now you can go on to your next set of four stitches. So we're just gonna pick up A, and we're going to knit. And when we do that, you'll notice that it tucks the rest of that behind here, okay? So we're just gonna knit A on this next peg, and now, before I move on, you can see, I'm gonna block these other ones, you can see there's three stitches or three pegs with the same color, okay? And right before that, here's that accent color. 
So now we need to get the accent going again. So we're just gonna pick up with B, our accent, and we're going to knit. And that's that second peg in on this little section. Knit that. And now we want to grab A. Just You're just coming over the top of these stitches here, just coming over the top and knit this peg here. Oops, there we go. All right, now we're in a trap again. So I'm gonna go underneath with B, just keep it where it is. Sorry, just pull these back so you can really see them, okay. So I'm going to take my B and I'm going to bring it forward between the pegs and come around to knit over this stitch here. I'm going to come back and um, leave this B in the back and knit over. Okay. And then now I'm ready to make my third stitch with that color. Now here's my other little trick that I like to do. It just helps me remember. Okay, so when I'm doing that third one, I go ahead and I wrap around with B here. So we have A on this very first stitch here, and I go ahead and wrap around B on the second stitch, and I just hold them at the same time and go ahead and do it together. It's just a quick way of doing it. And so now I'm ready to get my next series of three. So then here I go. I've got A on that third stitch, and now I want to trap it, so I bring B forward, wrap around, bring back with B, and knit over. And then now I want to finish it up by knitting over this last stitch here, and go ahead and grab the second stitch and do them together. So it actually makes it faster. So once you get your technique going, um, it'll actually get faster and faster. So I'm just gonna continue repeating this all the way around and meet you back up for the beginning of round two. Let me go ahead and just do a couple more of these. You can just see how I do it and uh, you may come up with your own rhythm. Also, um, on camera, I'm not showing it this way, but when I'm working with my accent color, I usually will move the ball of the accent color over here, and then I'll put my main color at the back because I know I'm using that, that round for that, and then the next time I have another round where it switches, I will switch places with the balls. Um, if they're in my lap, just one's kind of in between my legs at my feet, and then the accent one is um, to my side over here. All right, here we go. I'm going to do uh, that first stitch here, an A, and I'm going to trap the B, wrap with A, bring B back, go ahead and knit, and we're going to knit that last stitch in that color, and so we got B and a. Okay. I'm going to try and not talk because it's harder for me to say it because I can actually do it faster. So I'm just going to keep going here. Well, this is actually much easier when I've got it in my lap. There we go, I'm trapping that, bringing it back. And there we go. So, just need to check your work and come along, and come backwards here, back to your first peg. Make sure that you're following the chart where you have A, B, A, 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 B, A, 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 B, A, A. A, B, A, 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 B, A, 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 B, A, A. So you're just, you can visually see I've got three of one color and one of the other. Make sure that you're um, spot on. Just keep going. Pause your video and I will meet you back for the beginning of round two. See you in a moment. All right, round two, you're going to see um, with the four stitches here, it's going to look like A, B, B, B. So on this one, it's going to be 
gray and then uh, cream, cream, cream. Okay, so I came to the end of my uh, round one and I've got the accent color or B on top of my A. So we still need to have um, A as our first stitch. So go ahead and wrap around that and it will trap in this color here, B. So we've got A on peg one. All right, now we want to kind of switch. So remember I was saying I put my accent over on this other side over here. So I'm gonna kind of physically show you what it looks like to be over there. And then we're gonna put um, a at the back or our accent at the back here because the accent on this round is going to be this color. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but basically the one with uh, three of the same color I'm putting in the back here. Okay, so I've already done contrast A in my first spot and the next three need to be B. So um, we're gonna uh, go ahead and take B and we're going to knit on top of where we had the same color before Okay, and so now we need to um, trap in uh, our other yarn. So we're gonna bring A forward, okay? Then we're going to wrap around with B and then bring A to the back and then knit that stitch. So the middle stitch of the three stitches that are worked together in the same color, that's where you're doing the, the trapping part, okay? Where you're uh, hiding those the yarn in the back. And then we go ahead and work the fourth stitch in that in our third of our color for that round. And in this case, it's B. So now we have three of color B and one of color A. And then we move on to knit the next set of four with color A. And then pick up B and knit that next stitch. And then we're gonna do the trap part. So we move A forward, wrap around with B, move A back and we're knitting over and then go ahead and knit that last peg in B. Okay, so just repeat those. You're just gonna be working in those sets of four. It's actually easier on this round, I think, because of the way it works up. So you've got A, B, 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 A, B, 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 all the way around. Pause your video. I will meet you back up for the end of that round and beginning of round three. See you soon. All right, so we are on uh, round three, and here's the difference on round three. So we're actually going to carry A all the way over from this stitch here, where we last did it, all the way over to the fourth stitch in. Okay, this is the longest amount you're going to be uh, carrying. Okay, I wanna interrupt month. and give you an extra option. When you continue with six colors, the same color, and the it's the color B, your contrast, it makes it have this sort of line. And it's just a natural thing that happens when you change your hound's tooth to the next round. So in order to change that and make it stop, it'll shorten the hound's tooth, but it looks better. All you have to do is on the last stitch of round two, make it in contrast A, and then you won't have that extra problem. So try that on yours or try this next step. So we did three of um, B together, and now we need to do three of B together again, and then do A. So it's the opposite of the last round. So how you do that is you've already worked B where it trapped in uh, the last of this one, okay? So like I, I had held it forward on here and then trapped it in, and now um, we can just um, go ahead and trap in again. So I trapped it over here, and then this one knit in and it and it finished the, the completion of that little trapping technique. Now we want to, before we start the round, bring A forward and then wrap B around for peg one and then bring A back and then knit over, okay? And then take A and wrap around on peg two and that completes that sort of trap, <laughs> you know. For lack of a better word, that's that's what I call it anyway. Okay, you have you may have a different word for it. That's what I call it. Uh, okay, so now we uh, have two more stitches uh, to go in this pattern, and we just uh, simply knit with B on this third stitch in. So the third peg, you're just knitting over and just leaving, um, leaving a no. So I'm sorry, I don't know if I said that wrong, but you're going to knit with B. So you have three of B together, and now pick up A and knit this last stitch. 
That's the fourth one, okay? So now we can go back into sort of our regular mode where we're going to take um, B and come around to the back and do the very first peg over here and knit that stitch. And now we're back to our little trapping motion. We're going to take A, bring it forward and work B and move A to the back, knit B and then knit another B stitch and wrap the next one with an A. Okay, so we have B, 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 A, B, 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 A, and repeated all the way around, okay? So continue repeating that, pause your video, I'll meet you back for the last round of round four. See you soon. All right, we're on our fourth round and we're going to go ahead and switch our yarns over and we're gonna be primarily using the color A in this round. So uh, we're gonna start with 2A. Uh, I'm gonna take my yarn that's over here, which is my A, and move it to uh, the back here and take my um, B, which is my secondary yarn, over here. So here we go. And now my first stitch, we're going to wrap A. It's already on top the way I move my yarn over, so it's on top of A, uh, it's on top of B <laughs> back here. Do you see how this dark strand's on top of this light strand? Okay, so I have A on top of B, and I'm gonna go ahead and knit A. And then you can trap, this is the one place where I sort of modify. I go ahead and trap in B here, and then wrap around and uh, knit with A, and then bring my B to the back, okay? We're gonna knit that, all right? Um, I've kind of gone behind a couple of stitches here. This is probably my longest strand. That's just how I do it. If you um, trap it over here, it's okay too. Um, if you, like if you trap it before you begin that round, that's fine. Um, either one is fine. And then now we want to, so we've done A, A, and now we want to do B. So we're just going to go ahead and knit that third stitch in B and then go around and wrap A again. So to repeat on, whoops, I'll slit that yarn. To repeat on, we want to go ahead and trap the yarn before we begin our um, next set of four. We're gonna trap it there and yarn over with A, bring B to the back and knit over to make it A. And then we're going to knit A again. And now you can work your B and then your A. You can actually put them together like that and knit so you have those sets like that. So we got A, A, B, A, 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 B, and so on. So just make sure your first four are right. Continue repeating so you have more, uh, you have three A's all together. And then your third stitch in, in those little sets of four is going to be your accent color there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and repeat that round. And um, you're just gonna continue um, working around four until um, the end of this round. And then when you're complete, you um, will have one uh, full repeat of your houndstooth done. For this hat, I've done three complete sets of houndstooth and then I continued on in my hat and then I made a decreased round. And of course, you can find that in the hat pattern and go click on the link in the video description below to do that. And we have other links for the um, knitting this pattern in a flat panel as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learning how to fair isle stitch this Please leave me questions down below if you need me to clear up anything else. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.